guys welcome back uh, happy to see you all again so this is the first main content we want to say to people how to invest and how not to invest in stock market you could, oh my god you could see that i have highlighted two in red and not two in green because uh, always people speak about how to how to how to but they don't say how not to invest in market and how they will just say how to invest in market guys so how would, would be if you earn uh, one lakh in one day you would be so much happy right i will mean, you will be falling in money market side but how will you, you will be in, in in like in cases where uh, if you invest 1 crore rupees and you lose the whole 1 crore rupees because of bad investing after seeing this video you will have a clear differentiation between these two guys before going into how to invest in the share market one must know what is share market guys because you want to know from basics simply speaking that share market is a place where shares are traded then what is a share you may ask suppose for example i give you an example let us consider this is to be a industry a as you can see i draw the diagram this is industry a it is having a capital of 10 lakhs yes guys it is having a capital of 10 lakhs this company divides this 10 lakh into 10 lakh parts that means 10 lakh Uh, parts means in another name it is known as 10 lakh shares so that each share having a value of rupees 1 yeah we we have the rupees 1 per each per share yes guys dividing the capital into a number of parts is known as shares now how this in turn divides into a share market yes guys i will tell how it is now let us have a Uh, uh what to say 10 lakh shares yes guys this is 10 lakh shares as we know the owner is having this 10 lakh shares fully the company is growing good 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 and it have, it want to start an another branch in delhi let us have this is a one branch and they want to start an another branch in a2 it would be nice if they want to start an another branch in delhi right yes oh my god in two branches so that he the owner expects that uh, it would require another 10 lakhs to invest he having 10 lakh shares as you can see here i have mentioned he having 10 lakh shares he divide this shares into two the owner is having 5 lakh shares and remaining 5 lakh shares he gave to public public means our like our public individuals he have in given in stating that 5 lakh shares having a value of 2 rupees yes guys having a value of 2 rupees he has as you know the primary value of 10 lakh rupees by 10 lakh is 1 rupee but he has given the 5 lakh shares into 2 rupees gaining that 10 lakh rupees guys gaining the 10 lakh rupees so that he will get his 10 lakhs in money and he will give the individuals in shares so the individuals will get the shares amount of rupees 10 lakhs and this share is being traded into the market now we are going to see uh, whether the share is good or whether the share is bad how to know whether the share is good or how to know whether the share is bad so guys moving on so how to invest in share market the first and the foremost main thing to note is what's the price movement of the share uh, yes guys for example i will say the best stock to invest is the share that is having less volatility for example if we take reliance limited in this graph the share price was trading around 1300 it gone to 1500 and it's gone to 1200 again and again to 1600 then 1400 then 1700 this like price movement should be there there should not be a sudden spike 
like uh, from going from 100 rupees to 1000 rupees then coming again to 0 rupees avoid this kind of shares and select this type of shares that is the first and foremost thing and second thing to note is that uh, invest when shares are down as you can see this example i will again draw this figure reliance industries if you see the reliance industries as i said the share price was trading around 1200 rupees then it came down then it's again 1400 and it came to 1300 1700 so guys people usually invest at top peaks that means they invest at when the price is at the maximum and that price is maximum and maximum <coughs> so people say that they are making losses the shaft is coming down people don't go and invest in the market is rising guys invest when the market is down or when this beer warren buffett usually says that be greedy when others are fearing yes guys because as you can see when the people are fearing the price has come down the people who have invested here would have enjoyed the profit here and people who have invested here and who are would have enjoyed profit here so moving on you should like try to invest like in the shares you will get so much of profit guys so the next point search for the quality names do your own research work guys underground work is very very important before investing in share market do your research work and check the management and check the management who are the owners and whether they can giving regular updates and what can they do information you could regularly see our channels we would say that how to invest and to know more about how to invest you could see others video as i said earlier we would main concentration would be that how not to invest in market i mean what the mistake you should avoid guys see how not to invest the first and the main main thing is that don't invest when the price is rising because the simple fact is that suppose if you take a company a the company was at down at rupees 5 say, sorry down at rupees 100 it gone up to 150 now when the when you invest in 150 rupees you don't know the level of how much far it will go suppose for example if it goes high means okay suppose if it comes down then you will in, you lose the majority of amount is there if you take 100 percent uh, these cases 95 percent of the cases is there where people, people invest in high price and lose their money because the share price come down so wait for the perfect time and invest in that and another thing is that don't invest in shares where the share fundamentally bad but technically good for example if we take a share which has fall down from 100 rupees to 10 rupees the technical is indicate that the share is oversold and the price is less you may accumulate but fundamentally mean fundamentally means the position of the company the how the company performs and what the future of company company it may say that the company may not last long so the people who are following technically blindly who follow who don't follow fundamental will go and invest and lose their money so it is always to give 50% weightage to technical also 50% weightage to fundamental and above all that don't invest by saving your sms you receive yes guys this is my personal experience i have faced in my life uh, one of the company named super domestic limited uh, i was the starting stage of my investing career so i have i have received message that invest in this company you will gain a lot i invested in 40 rupees thousand shares then the share is not trading today not trading means zero rupees so 40,000 rupees gone in just uh, half of three months or four months oh my god wow. in in sort of second also don't be greedy have a limit guys yes guys don't have don't be greedy for example i invested in hc shares when the price was trading around 3500 rupees and it gone up to 4000 rupees i waited and waited 100 shares now it came around to 900 rupees guys see the downfall it has cost to me value uh, description even though i sold some stocks on high level but i don't i didn't sell it fully have a profit percentage to a limit so that you could save your money and uh, 
safe god only investments and things thank you so much guys for listening to me uh, pleasantly and uh, this much time if you like this video then make sure you share our videos and make us uh, what to say make us more energetic to make more videos thank you so much guys